Persona non grata. Person Semper ubi sub ubi, which is the only thing. Well, I probably know a few Latin phrases, but that's one of the few that I know. I'm, I'm sure I've made this stupid joke before too. It means always wear underwear. Ah, quid pro quo. <laughs> you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, which is basically what that means, right? Yeah. So this is better in difficulty. Modern Warfare 3 for wikigameguides.com. We need to think of a funny. Well, we can't think of a funny parody name of Wiki Game Guides. I think it'll just happen. Taco Game Tacos? Taco Game Tacos? That's actually pretty good. So for the first part of this, it doesn't really matter. I don't even think you have to shoot out there. Um, Jam the tampon into the hole. No, <laughs> no, I was thinking it's more like a Pulp Fiction. Oh. We are giving her the adrenaline shot. Yeah, here's the red circle. Yeah. I've never given her a- I've never given a goddamn shot of adrenaline. <laughs> the fuck do I know about this? She's your OD bitch, you do it. <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time someone told me that. <laughs> you have two nickels. <laughs> so, what's going on? So, I hate this level. Cut new, I new absolutely country? Hate, this is a new level. I think it's... Alright, take a drink. Somalia or something? I fucking hate this level. So, I've been working on an intel guide as I've been working on this walkthrough. And I'm missing two intel mm -hmm. on the entire game. Yeah. One's on this level, and this is a very short level. On veteran, it you know, it's ten minutes, so it actually takes a while, but it's a very small level mm -hmm. compared to a lot of levels where you're covering a lot of distance and there's a lot of nooks and crannies to check. Yeah. And this level, I cannot find the fucking intel! I can't find it! <laughs> I, I don't know where it is. I... You'll find it. I'll look for it while we do this. That's not a bad idea, actually. Use a fresh pair of eyes on yeah. it. Too bad the screen. Oh, you'll look for the intel? The screen's too small. You're gonna look for the intel while we're watching yeah. this and doing the voiceovers. Yeah. Oh, okay. You wouldn't even... There won't be a single intel in these videos because they don't, like, reappear. Oh. You, don't, you don't even know what an intel looks like. It looks like a radio. Okay, you, you kind of radio. know what an intel looks like. I, <laughs> I apologize. Oh, this is only your sixth Call of Duty guide. I, I right. I think I know what intel looks like mm -hmm. when I see it. <laughs> I know what intel when I see one. Yes. They're typically I know little a piece pieces of garbage. Of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I know what pieces of garbage look like when they're lying around the map. Mm-hmm. More treasure! Speaking of pieces of trash... Uh-huh. <laughs> Battlefield really sucks, doesn't it? Isn't that right, Modern Warfare fanboys? Oh, oh yeah, there's right. no there's no trash picking up. In Battlefield? Yeah. Thank God. Actually, no, not thank God, because we can make a video and... I mean, God damn it. <laughs> I mean, God damn it. It's, it's a lot of work, but it actually does make a good amount of money for us. Um, so, speaking of pieces of trash... Darkness 2 is coming out next year. Darkness is where we really? originated the is phrase really? pieces of trash. Yeah, because there were pieces of trash. And there was like, like hundred of them. Six hundred and sixty or something it's crazy. Insane like that. Oh my god. There's a velociraptor at the door. <laughs> opening up the doorknobs. Uh, so make your way down this little right aisle. This is uh, probably the first section you're really gonna see infinitely spawning enemies and how you can take advantage of the invisible tripwires to stop them from spawning. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I, I feel like there's infinitely spawning enemies, but I also feel like I haven't tested it. I haven't sat there and just killed people for an hour. Mm -hmm. But going this way will force your other group of teammates to kind of go down the main street and push the enemies back, making it easier for you. So, like, that... I guess that's kind of the strategy throughout what I've recorded so far. Get away from the main team? Yes. And flank. Move up, cover to cover, get the main team to catch up to you, and then there won't be any enemies as the main team kind of like moves to where you are. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, about that. I don't know where the fucking intel is. I've spent at least an hour and a half. Oh, is that it right there? Oh, what? Where? Oh, we can't rewind. <laughs> That's not how audio works. 
So I'll just wait for Price to catch up in a second. I'll open this door. Have you finished a Call of Duty story? Like single player? Uh, no. No? No. I... I played Modern Warfare, uh, I think the first one, a lot online. Mm hmm And I really liked it. Mm hmm and What about Call of Duty 2? No. The launch? No, I didn't play that very much. Really? I remember playing the hell out of it with Evan. Yeah, you Evan did. loved to play it because he loved to play Call of Duty 1. Yeah. And I played that a bit. And that was actually really good. Like the, you know, World War II style. Yeah, I How long has it been since it. Call of Duty's been a World War II game? I think Call of Duty 3 was probably well, the last Modern one. Modern Warfare was the first non. What about Call of Duty 3? I feel like that yeah. was that World War 2? Yeah. So, what year was Call of Duty 4? So, I was still living 2 in years Boulder. ago, 2 years ago, 4 years ago. Wow. Yeah. A lot of Call of Duty. And I've People done, I've done Call nothing of with Duty. my life. I've done absolutely nothing. It's kind of depressing, actually. Mm -hmm. It's my sixth fucking... No, six years ago. It comes out every two years, and this is the third one. So two years ago, two came out. And two years ago, one came out. Modern Warfare, one. Call of Duty 4, yeah. right. Huh. All right, so for this gun, or for this, uh, whatever it's called, you have infinite machine gun ammo, and uh, I think 24 grenade rounds. And on veteran difficulties, this thing actually dies pretty quickly. On the easier difficulties, it's pretty fun to just plow forward mm -hmm. and just mow everybody down without caring, caring if you miss someone behind you. But on here, you have to actually be very meticulous. On veteran, you have to be very meticulous and be sure you don't miss anybody and get shot in the back because if if this thing dies, then it's mission over. Yeah. Um, this is actually one of the... Any checkpoints? Uh, yeah, there's one or two. Yep, just got one. I think I get one in another minute or so. Oh, uh, this is actually one of the kill streak bonuses in multiplayer. I can't wait to Getting see Getting this thing? Yeah. Is it remote controlled? Yeah. So you're not in it. It's like a right, it's, Johnny Five. Yes, exactly. If you look that up, yeah, uh, yeah, it is just like Johnny Five. Yeah, just kind of chill out here for a second. There's gonna be two more helicopters. And I was trying to get what I thought was an achievement, but I must not have read it right. I thought it was um, kill all the helicopters with only grenades, but I must have read it wrong. Or I, I don't know. I'll make a separate achievement video for that. Oh yeah, how are the achievements? Um, so I have about 50% of the achievements after playing through the full game once on easy, or very easy, whatever it's called, the <laughs> easiest, and getting almost all of the intel and playing through a couple rounds of survival and playing through the first group of spec ops. They're, they're very liberal with them mm -hmm. compared to Dark Souls <laughs> or Skyrim or any other game that requires thousands of hours yeah. of uh, gameplay. What about multiplayer? Are there no any? multiplayer achievements. Uh, uh, actually, I'm going to bite my tongue on that. I don't, I'm pretty sure there's no multiplayer achievements. I've read through them, but I haven't, like, really, read read, like, you know, analyzed yeah. them, you know. You haven't started whoring. I'm not going to, dude. There's, I want to play Skyrim so bad. <laughs> you have no idea. I actually want to play the multiplayer of this a bit, too. Oh, yeah. Even though... You could probably just make multiplayer <sighs> videos for the rest of the year and make tons of money. <sighs> Even though... So after you're done protecting that, um, aren't you looking forward helicopter? to Lego Harry Potter? <laughs> oh, you, dude, yes. I'm also <laughs> looking forward to the new Twilight movie. I mean, come on. Oh, I thought that was only a three, four. What? I thought it was a trilogy. Yeah. There's already three. Been three. Oh, I think it's a two-parter. Oh. Kind of like uh, Harry, Harry Potter, Potter. one. Potter. Yeah. Except. And then our Saints Row 3 drink along. Oh, Saints Row 3. There's so many good games to play right now, man. Not enough time. 
So I'll save the, the Modern Warfare versus Battlefield multiplayer ramblings and internal debates for another video. Okay. But uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to at least prestiging once in this. I've prestiged at least once in every Call of Duty. How long does that take? A lot of hours. Okay. It's not easy. It's... And in Call of Duty 4, man, I... I plan on putting some time into this game. Oh, yeah. Easily. And, dude, I'm planning on putting hundreds of hours into every game. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't work that way, though. There's just not enough hours in the day. There, Dude, I need to uh, delegate my game playing to someone else. Application. 